Tonight, from the White House, a special edition of Prime Time. We have finally decided to fix what's broken about health care in America. If you are happy with your plan, if you're happy with your plan, if you're happy with your health care right now, and you are happy with your doctor, happy with your plan and your doctor, you stick with it, we don't want you to have to change. Even if somehow your current plan qualified under the individual mandate that the president supports, And in Massachusetts, thousands of people have had to drop their current insurance and buy a plan that had the benefits the government thought they should have. You'd still face the possibility of being forced into the government-run plan, what the president calls a public option. Businesses in particular would have every incentive to dump their workers into the government plan. So even if the president says he doesn't want you to have to change your health plan, he's going to make that inevitable for millions of Americans. We will have what's called a, uh, an exchange, but you can also think of it as a marketplace. When most people think of a health insurance exchange, they think, I give money to an insurance company, they give me financial protection if I get sick. What President Obama means by a health insurance exchange is, you exchange the coverage you have right now for a health plan designed by the government, a doctor you don't know, and a government bureaucrat telling you whether you're gonna get the care you want. There is a whole bunch of care that's being provided that every study, every bit of evidence that we have indicates may not be making us healthier. But you don't know what that test is. Well, oftentimes we do, though. Uh, There are going to be situations where there are going to be disagreements uh, among experts. But oftentimes we do know what makes sense and what doesn't. One-size-fits-all approaches don't work in medicine. What makes sense for the average patient might not make sense for you. So if a treatment doesn't work for the average patient, it might work in your circumstances, but those are the treatments that President Obama is talking about eliminating. We're also going to have to do is start looking at Medicare reimbursements, Medicaid reimbursements, working with uh, doctors, working with nurses to figure out how can we incentivize quality of care, a team approach to care that will help raise and elevate the profile of family care physicians and nurses as opposed to just the specialists who are typically going to make more money if they're getting paid fee for service. What the president is talking about is increasing access to primary care by rationing access to specialty care. Now that's fine if you're one of those patients who only needs primary care. But if you're one of those patients that needs specialty care, then your health is going to be harmed. I've been reading a lot of the email questions that we've been getting online. They've been saying the Mayo Clinic is exactly the point. They're doing it. Private industry is doing it. Private hospitals are doing it. The Safeway Company is taking action. Why get the government involved in something that has been done already in the private sector and with the right initiative and impetus could be done in the private sector without well, you, government involvement? You just said with the right initiative and, and unfortunately, that initiative hasn't been forthcoming. That initiative hasn't been forthcoming in the private sector because government has killed it. The Mayo Clinic provides high quality, coordinated care, but the federal government actually penalizes doctors and hospitals if they follow that model. The government, uh, whether you like it or not, is going to already be involved. So much for all ideas being on the table. Yeah, we pay for Medicare, we pay for Medicaid. There are a whole host of rules, both at the state and federal level, governing how health care is administered. That's exactly the problem. And it's why President Obama's approach to health care reform is going to fail. He's going to layer even more government rules and more government regulation on top of our health care sector, which is going to make it harder for doctors and hospitals to provide high quality, affordable care. Doctors are not going to be working for the government. They're still going to be working for themselves. I think a lot of doctors already feel like they work for the government. The government pays half of all medical bills in the United States. And under President Obama's reform plan, the government would be paying even more doctor salaries. Let's change the system so that our overall cost cost curve starts going down by investing in a range of things, prevention, health IT, etc. Preventive care will make us all healthier, but by and large it won't save any money. The reason is it's a shotgun approach. Not only does it stop some people from getting sick and save money on them, but it treats a whole lot of people who are healthy and never going to get sick in the first place. We will have some upfront costs, and the estimates, as Charlie has said, have been anywhere from a trillion to uh, two trillion dollars. But what we've said is, what my administration has said, what I've said, is that whatever it is that we do, we pay for. So it doesn't add to our deficit. Right now, the House of Representatives is talking about a payroll tax hike, a value-added tax, an income tax surcharge. The Senate wants to tax soft drinks, beer, your employer-provided health care benefits. 
The president really didn't do justice to the question of how he intends to pay for his health care reform and whether or not he's going to raise taxes on the middle class. There was a lot of concern that this was going to be an hour-long commercial for the Obama health plan. But I think the audience reflected the public's deep skepticism of new government programs, rules, and regulations. Real health care reform would encourage market competition by reducing government rules and regulations, letting consumers control their health care dollars and make their own health care decisions.